he built his own spreadsheet or, or his underwriting um, analyzer from scratch. And he said one mistake most people make when they're creating a spreadsheet and even uh, one thing you should look out for when you're purchasing a spreadsheet. I don't think his is for sale either. So it's not like he had was trying to sell his or anything. I don't believe. Um, he said, make sure that uh, you have the um, ability to put in when leases expire for um, for each of the units that you have. This is assuming we're talking about an apartment community, uh, but same same principle applies for office and retail. And he said the reason why is uh, a lot of calculators have an assumption that uh, when you increase rent, say, um, by X amount for renovations, you're going to renovate units. It assumes that you're going to do all of them at the same time. But in reality, everybody listening to this conversation knows, and Theo, you know, is that it doesn't happen magically overnight. It happens incrementally as leases expire. And it's important to be able to plug in when leases are expiring into your calculator. That way you can have a true staggered approach for what reality looks like versus what you would ideally like, which is all at once um, at the beginning of the year. Yeah, 100%. Uh, um, so uh, an another way to to kind of go about doing that without having to, to plug in all the lease expiration data in your cash flow calculator is to, to have in mind how long you think it's going to take to renovate all these units. So 12 months, 18 months. Obviously, it's not going to be zero months. It's not going to be you buy the property and instantaneously every single unit is renovated at the new at the new least uh, amount. But um, uh, a way to do it, a kind of a way to quickly do it when you're underwriting, uh, just in, in the beginning. Obviously, you want to do this eventually, but is to assume however long it's going to take. Let's say 12 months or 18 months, and then make sure that the rent is gradually increasing from uh, day zero to month 12. You know by if it's 12 months by one twelfth. So if the overall rent increase is going to be $10,000 for let's say $12,000, is easy math, then each month it goes up by $1,000 rather than $0, $0, $0, $0. And then all of a sudden up $12,000 because because that will make your, that'll kind of mess your model up. Um, I do want to mention too that we've, uh, that's kind of a, a more like an advanced underwriting tip. And um, me and you did do an episode where we talked about some other advanced uh, underwriting tips. Uh, that's episode uh, 1445 and then we continued at, at 1480 so we did 10 tips i think the, the i think we did two episodes the first one was the, the first five tips second one was the next five tips i don't think this was one of them so i guess now you've got 11 tips for uh, 11 advanced underwriting tips 